What's up Battle Bears fans, my name is Bob Stuntsville, and welcome to the first official Battle Bears tutorial series. This series is intended to help new players learn how to use the weapons for the classes in Battle Bears Royale. In this episode, we will be discussing one of the easiest bears to pick up in Battle Bears Royale. Today we will be looking at Oliver. He is a middleman, good in a lot of situations, able to run around the map with reasonable speed and health. His weapons are some of the most easiest to pick up as well. First, we'll talk about his primaries and finish off with his secondaries. Let's get into this. Oliver's primaries are pretty easy to understand. Most of them are all automatic hitscan, which means that most of them can deliver little but reasonable punishment through a, a lot of ranges. There are 8 automatic weapons in Oliver's arsenal. There are the Acriambo Pistols, Minigun, Sci-Fi Azer, Sci-Fi Hazer, the Assault Rifle, Heavy Assault Rifle, Soaker, and Urine Trouble. Acriampo pistols, minigun, sci-fi azer, and assault rifle all have little to no spread, so you can shoot at people from pretty far away, which is very handy at taking out snipers. The heavy rifles, sci-fi hazer, and the heavy assault rifle have some big spread, so it's best to attack from close ranges. Soaker and urine trouble both have a stream of liquid squirting out at high speed. There is no spread though they don't do anything from long distances, so it's best to attack from really close ranges. The only truly unique primary Oliver has at his disposal is Osio Gauntlet. Osio is very hard to master, as when you fire, the projectile lingers for 4 seconds before launching out really fast. You must fire in the direction that your enemy is heading, or else you will always miss with this weapon. Prediction is the only way you will be able to hit people with Osio. Keep that in mind. It is very hard to use. Now let's move on to Oliver's secondaries. These are the more unique weapons of Oliver's arsenal, so they might be harder to get used to, unlike the automatic rifles. First is Solar Wind Scar. This sword is used to shoot an orange slice projectile. Once it hits a player, it will create a big purple sphere that does a lot of damage to the enemy when they stand inside of it. Keep in mind that you yourself can get hurt by the sphere as well, so be careful. Next up is Sake Bomb. Sake shoots out little bottles of some white substance. When splashed on their enemy, their controls will be inverted, so it'll make it harder for them to walk around. Remember, you can also hit yourself with these bottles because of the AoE, or Area of Effect. Two similar weapons are Steam Shot and Spread Shot. They both are like small shotguns, a good damage at close ranges, but do no damage further away. Steam Shot has less ammo and does more damage, while Spread Shot is vice versa. Rocket Launcher is the discount bear Zuka. Shoot small arcing pellets that do small damage, but easy to confirm damage. Due to the small damage, it is not the best secondary to use. The Berzuka is the first bad big boy damage boy that you get in the game. It does pretty good damage, with its pellets flying somewhat slow, but it's best to use in medium range, but not close enough for the AoE, area of effect, to harm you along with the enemy. Be careful to not hit yourself. Lastly, the TNT Launcher is a patient situational cousin to the Berzuka. 
Instead of dealing instant damage on contact, the rocket has a timer of about 2 seconds until it explodes. Once the rocket is fired, it will arc and hit the ground. Once initial contact with said ground, it will wait 2 seconds upon exploding. It is best used like OCO, where you have to predict where your enemies are going to go to contemplate for the long timer. The TNT launcher does noticeably more damage and has a bigger explosion. So if you can predict enemy movement, this should be a direct upgrade from the Bearzooka. Thank you for taking your time to watch this tutorial. To learn more about Oliver or Battle Bears Royale, please consider joining the Discord where many loyal Battle Bears fans discuss about the game and other fun topics. Join at discord.gg backslash bb. Special thanks to Skyru and Cool Uncle Skeleton for donating their time to help make this video happen.